Hello! Today I'll be sharing some of the Eclipse plugins that I normally use on a regular basis as a Java developer. Some are already installed when you download Eclipse, others need to be installed manually from the marketplace. Let's start with Mylin. Mylin! It's already available from Eclipse Java EE, otherwise you can install it from the Eclipse marketplace. It helps with the task planning. It has the notion of task repositories and task list that you can connect to a third party provider such as Truck and Mantis. And we can see that here if we add a, for example, a task repository and install more connectors. Here we should be able to see the available task and change management third party providers as well as the build management. Here we have Jenkins. You can create and manage a task like any other project management tool. For example, in the task list, we can add a new task. For example, let's create a new task in the local repository, meaning it will just exist in our machine. And let's name it task1. So we have our task1 under the uncategorized category. That means that we can also create our own category. And we can assign our task to the category that we just created. Notice that we can schedule our task for this week or next week. Let's say for example next week and we can choose a specific date. So that later on we can apply a filter. For example, we want to see all the tasks that only focus on this uh, work week. So we can, we can toggle these buttons. So for more information, you can go to the Mylin website and read on their documentation. Next is Spinebugs. It's really old, but some developers are still using it. It actually analyzes the bytecode to identify potential software bugs. More documentation are available from their website. But later on in the next video, maybe I'll discuss an alternative to this one because personally, I don't use this one anymore, followed by check style. This one, it checks your code comparing it to the default coding standard like spaces, variable names, etc. By default, there are two ready-made configurations. As we can see in the documentation here, we have Google and Sun. Sun is the older of the two. It's been around since 1990 something. And the uh, rules and checks are well documented, documented in this website. So here we can see, for example, class design rules and the violations related to it. So let's try and uh, run check style. But before that, in case you're wondering how to install find bugs uh, check style, you can get them from the Eclipse Marketplace. Just go to Eclipse Marketplace and search for the plugin that you want to install. In this case, we want to install check style, so we will search for check style. Here is check style. It's already installed on my local machine, so in your case, you need to click the install button. Now let's run check style on this class. Check style can be run on a class or on a project. So let's run check style for this class. And uh, we can see some violations of the rules. By the way, I'm using Sun. By the way, I'm using Sun rule, which is in here, check style. So I'm using Sun. You can change 
to Google and you can create your own rules. It's documented on their website how to write your own custom checks. But in this case, I will just use the standard from Sun. Again, let's go to our class. Here we have some errors. Lines longer than 80. Basically, most violations are about the line. But I think maybe we can try running on this code. So this one is missing Java document. I really hate this uh, 80 characters because right now we have wider LCDs that can support longer lines. Me personally, I use 180 to 200 because I have a wider monitor. So you can address these issues one by one and try running check style again later. Uh, for now, I'll just clear the violations. Again, you can run check style on the entire project. But uh, yeah, I open do that for package because it's hard to address uh, all the files you have in your project altogether. So do that bit by bit. Next is uh, PMD. It analyzes your code. And uh, find flaws like unused variables, missing overrides, abstract class without abstract method, and more. Rules are available from their website. Though I think some of them need to be updated to take into consideration the latest changes in the Java framework. So again, let's see. I already installed PMD so I can run it now. Let's check our code. And uh, you can see that it changed the default perspective of Eclipse and we have some highlights here and uh, those are the lines that violated some rules so long variable method name I think this one method argument could be final but yeah I, I mentioned earlier that some rules for me personally don't apply anymore due to the recent changes that we have for from java so let's for example let's try running pmd on this class we have some error like for example in this one it's lop demeter potential violation of lop demeter due to the method chain calls but now that we have stream this is very usual so for me, I don't think, I don't think uh, it violated any rule. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for this video. In the next video, we will learn about a plugin that wraps up the three plugins that we discussed above. If you learned something, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload new programming related videos. Thank you for watching and bye.